Um, last time, you all started at the Adventurer's Temple, which is now its name, instead of Temple of Adventurers. Oh, fine, now I gotta change my notes. <laughs> nope, vetoed it. Against the laws. I wrote it down in pencil. I'm gonna have to erase it now. And write it down again. Yeah. yeah, I could never do that. Yeah. I definitely didn't give myself enough time to prepare. I probably should have said uh, no next week when you asked me if, if I wanted to do it this week, last week. Oh. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. And I think I have a suggestion later on we can talk about that will help you prepare this game better. Okay. Um. But I heard a beep. Beep. I did do... A lot more preparing for this session, and yeah. did a little bit yeah. of backstory. Um, All right, so anyways, we're gonna do a recap, but I think I have the most important recap. I hit some fucking things with my hammer. Take it away, Chris. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frank got covered in three different kinds of blood. That's right. Um, just started at the Adventurer's Temple and made their way down to the bulletin board of tasks to be completed where they found two tasks, one to go to some ruins, a tomb, and one to go fight some goblins. But after deciding that the tomb was going to take too much time to get to, they said let's just go kill goblins. Yeah, because we like that. On we the way to the that. goblins, they killed a couple... Oh, the baker. Yes. We also forgot that okay. in Cat Scratch, we saw that Hobbs is going to eat Fred. You yeah. uh, you leave Fred out of this. He's my friend. <laughs> He's a great conversationalist, and you're just being a dick. Yes. <laughs> that is Hobbs' goal in life. Okay. <laughs> just check that box in. <laughs> Be a we dick. Should. Done. We should also cover why we've got our little logo up where Tyler's face is supposed to be. Yes. I broke my webcam. Tyler's webcam is not functioning, which is actually my webcam. Mm. Ah, shit. That's right. Yeah. I um, bought uh, an I extra webcam, so Friday you can take your actual webcam back with you. Oh, yeah. shit. We'll just call him the voice. The non-working webcam is to be expected. It's like a 15-year-old vision cam. Seriously, it was mm, ridiculous yeah. to try and find drivers for that thing. <laughs> yeah. I ended up downloading it from the sketchiest freaking site. Oh, boy. Hopefully you got some of that extra software with it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Bonus software. Mm. So anyways, uh, players moved down to the south west of Glenfall City, right about here on the map. And they are currently inside of a goblin cave. Trying to kill some goblins. That's right. We and they just hide. finished killing a couple of... A couple gnolls, I thought. Gnolls, yeah. yes. Hyena men. Them no good bastards. Was it two or three of them? Two. There was a second. Okay. okay. You killed an ape, two, two boars, ape. and two gnolls an last session. And a watermelon sized bun. Yeah, it needed it though. Mm hmm. It wasn't going to kill itself. Right. Right. Okay, now before we get started, um, there's a couple things I need to go over. I'm going to read a little bit of the backstory of Morlorn here, since we didn't get to go over that last time. Oh Sam. boy. Regale us with your tale. Yes. Sing it. None remain who can give a proper accounting of the eras predating the Dark Era. 
All the information on such times are kept in scrolls stored in the center of knowledge located in the frozen city of Druludia, far to the north at the end of the Trail of Shrines. The eras before the Era of Magic are as follows. Intellect, the Hell Era, the Mortal Era, the Dark Era, the Era when the dragon goddess Tiamat invaded Morlorn and enslaved many and led her followers to conquer the world. The Era of Hope, the Era of Prosperity among the mortal races after the fall of Tiamat and her followers at the hands of the dragon god Bahamut and the Adventurer's Temple. In the infancy of Glenfall City, the Adventurer's Temple was already ancient. In the year 231 of the Dark Era, a time where minions of Tiamat roamed freely and enslaved any that could not withstand them, the temple was created in cooperation with the platinum god Bahamut. As a base of operations for those who had the means to withstand the evil of Tiamat and her followers, and a beacon of hope for all who desired an end to her reign. Once the threat of Tiamat was dealt with in 1257 DE, and the first year of the Era of Hope came, the temple became both shrine to Bahamut and home to adventurers. The tower is now a place of, for growth of all who have a steeled mind a strong heart, and a yearning for exploration and battle. The temple is where all Morlorn goes when simple mercenaries don't cut it, and entire cities or the world itself is in danger. It is the center of training for up-and-coming heroes and heroines, as well as a hub for those who've already made a name for themselves. Now is the Era of Magic. After the Era of Hope came the Era of Magic. This is where you reside. It is the year 2458 M.E., 2458 years after the discovery of the first crystal of imbuement. The world of one Morlorn is one of technological advancement through the utilization of magical power through crystals of imbuement. All sorts of discoveries have been made since the first, and the crystals are now an abundant source that is actively mined through all the world. The crystals make all sorts of things possible in the world. Through a process called imbuement, magic can be locked within the crystals and used to move large objects, open and close doors, or even cast certain destructive spells. In many magical shops, temples, and palaces, the crystals are used to form decorations of unique designs such as upside-down fountains or floating objects. They are also used for practical purposes such as moving large slabs of stone up and down or side to side to ferry people from one location to another. In many military encampments and forts, crystals are placed as stationary defenses capable of firing some simple destructive spells to aid in battle in the event of an attack. There are laws governing the use of the crystals, enforced and regulated by the Adventurer's Temple. The lesser crystals, red, orange, and yellow, are free use and are often found in shops and used in decorative pieces. The medial crystals, green and blue, are closely observed and require reporting to the temple for record-keeping. The greater crystals, purple and black, are heavily regulated and are only allowed use in military apparatuses and defensive cities, and the temple itself for close study or, in rare cases, close allies of the temple. Upon discovery of purple or black crystals, the finder is required by temple law to turn the crystal into their country's capital for safekeeping and delivery to the adventurer's temple. And that is a brief summary of Morlorn. Uh, I hate to correct you on your own world history here, <laughs> okay. but you forgot one era. You forgot the hair era. The era where 80s hair bands just got super fucking popular, and it was great. <laughs> it was like poison all over the fucking place. So, minor correction, but you're welcome. <laughs> right. Suddenly, the fallen knoll <laughs> jumps up and attacks Frank. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dealing <laughs> 3d20 damage. 
Don't worry. <laughs> the darkness was there to save him, though. Oh. Feed me, Fred. Yes. So, a couple of things. One, um, I guess just one thing. The green crystal that you guys were contracted to go grab is actually... Um, Green crystals are not typically required to be turned into the temple, but every so often somebody will say, oh, this one's really special. It has, you know, a special glimmer to it. I think you should take it. And the temple is used to people saying things like this and then it turning out to be nothing, so they have a habit of sending the new guys out to collect things like that. That checks out. Them dicks. Them right. dicks. And there are, um, in the share, there are guidelines for how to use the crystals and what spells you can put in them. Question. Can they be socketed in my butthole? No. Damn it. Those were not legible words, Tyler. Or is it my fault? That's probably your fault. <laughs> all your fault. So, you're in a goblin cave. You just killed two gnolls. Somebody's mic just got super loud and... You oh, just killed on. two gnolls, and you entered the cave. There was light shining through the ceiling, seemingly from nowhere. Trees were growing underneath it. There were benches set up as though it were a waiting room, fireplace to the left. You decided to charge down the hall to the right, where you killed two gnolls. And that's where you are now. All right. Oh, they're dead. They are dead. Good All story. the deads. Oh man, our stream is fucked up. Your, your map overlays. Yeah, that's temporary. I just moved oh, okay. it. Okay. Okay. Cool. There, it snapped back. Yeah. All right. So, let's continue down this fucking hallway. I mm -hmm. believe that is what we should do here. You know, a wise man might say maybe we should go slowly and check for traps, but that man ain't me, so let's just fucking go. All right, well, I'm going to let him go first. I'm down okay. with that. And I'm not going to be as close as I'm down for high health. Of so course. you ran into the knolls about 30 to 35 feet into the tunnel here. The tunnel continues for about another... Forty feet before opening up into another room. In this room, you see a few barrels and a few more of those trees growing underneath unnatural light. Oh, you're muted. Or just your audio oh, cut out or something. Okay, there you go. No, I muted myself. That way you oh. guys can't hear me sipping whiskey. Uh, anyway, fuck trees, because I hate broccoli. I, Chuck loves broccoli. Fred hates broccoli. But, or Frank hates broccoli. Fred's indifferent. One of these things. I want to go check out them barrels. Are they full of booze? Um, roll me an investigation check. What's my investigation? It's a negative one, so let's roll some fucking dice. <laughs> Hopefully you roll those dice well. Big money no whammy. Ooh, an 18. That is acceptable. Is it booze? Um, no, actually. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh... You actually are searching through the barrels, and you say grain, <laughs> grain, <laughs> and then the third one you open is a goblin. Oh, dang. Oh. 
Oh, can I, <laughs> he was hiding in open? the barrel. Can I Must take a swing? Taking a nap. Um, we'll do like a small round of initiative where it's just you and the goblin. See who hits first. All right. You said small round of initiative. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Roll one d number plus a, another number. You're right. Not that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going with that four. Frank's gonna get smacked. Going mm. with the four. <laughs> Jeez, you're gonna get bopped. I'm gonna get bopped, but it's okay. I'm well equipped for taking bops. Oh, it's the goblin's initiative. Okay. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes over here. The yeah, goblin I... rolled a 14. It's not the pipe I wanted, but Ashley isn't putting up with any of my shit and won't give me another one, so it's Good. the one I'm going with. I'm gonna have to get another one. This one's too heavy. So the goblin goes first. That son of a bitch. That's right. And he's going to try and hit you with a scimitar. Oh, shit. Not the scimitar tar. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, it's a number above two. Okay. Uh, well, he definitely got that. Hang on, I'm trying to find where my AC <laughs> is on Oh, it's 15. Ah, he hits you. That son of a bitch. Did you tell him no? Tell him no. See, see if he stops. No, goblin. He doesn't Naughty stop. Goblin. That dick. <laughs> Shit. It was worth trying. And he hits you for six damages. Son of a bitch. Dang. Finally someone else okay. me. Now everyone roll initiative. Oakley Do I get a roll again? Uh yeah. Do I get noise? But so does he. Come on. It's better. Ooh. Wait, where's initiative on this friggin' thing? Uh, it is, uh, are you on the computer? It's, yeah. It's just be like it's, a... It's under your walking speed. You can also find it under the combat tab. Yeah. It's, it's not under my walking speed. If your computer looks like my computer, it's directly under my walking speed. Same on mine. Oh, do you have a full... <sighs> Aha! That's the secret. Uh -huh. I had it half screen, which is why. God damn it. One of these oh. days. <laughs> Don't worry, so far I'm the only one who got a rock. Motherfucker. <laughs> That's I not how you type, Tyler. That's okay. <laughs> how no, I type. There. No space. There you go. Ah, there we go. Now he's a big boy. For Christ's sakes. He's a big boy now. No, don't lie. <laughs> okay, well, I tried. Oh, well. Wow. 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 Oh, the difference is, is clear. Why, why? Why what? Oh, never mind. Uh, this freaking thing. Sorry. There we go. Now I'm back set up. Wow. Okay, 
So, Chuck and Tyler, who wants to go first? Uh, I do. Go first. Okay. Me. I'm good I at hurting things. Alright. So, oh, 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 right there. I am going to smack this fucker in the face with my hammer. Whoa. Get him. Is he still in the barrel? Uh, yeah. That I'm playing some goddamn whack-a-mole right now. The 21 right there. Oh, snap. Um, miss. All right. no. <laughs> no, that hits. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm about to do this twice. And you're going to take the higher one because I have the Savage Tacker feet. I was about to say it's time for us to call it quits. <laughs> that was a miss. That's uh, 13 damage. 13 damage. Man. You just, like, you bring your maw down, and his head just, like, flattens into his neck. Damn straight. <laughs> Four kinds of blood. You did Four all the kinds of that blood. Could be done. All right, and once that's done, I'm going over to one of the barrels of grain, and I'm getting a scoop of it, and I'm pouring it in Fred's hole in his bread loaf. Okay. His bread um, ball. Before you do that... Son of a bitch. A couple more goblins jump out from behind a couple of the trees in this room. And they got short bows, and they're looking real menacing, like they want to shoot you. Well, at least so, shoot I believe me, next is <laughs> Tyler. It, yes. Menacing short bows. Hmm. Menacing short bows. How far away are they? Uh, from your guys's position. Well, I'm assuming Chuck is... Chuck walked up and looked at the barrels. The rest of you just, like, sort of stood in the doorway when you came in this room? Yes. And now we're being threatened by speakers. Short speakers. Short speakers. Wait, what? Bows speakers, come on. Oh. Uh, uh, one, one of them is right next to Chuck. About 20 feet from you. Or ten feet, sorry. All right. All right. And I'm, then I'm... another one is like diagonal other side of the room, about thirty-five feet from you. Define right next to Chuck. The barrels were in a like a little cubby in the room to the south, mm -hmm. about fifteen feet from the opening that you guys entered in, to the left. Mm hmm. And the tree is, like, just before the barrels. So is he or is he not within five feet of the barrel? Yeah, he's he's, he's within he's, five feet, yeah. He's within five feet of Frank. I'm going to walk up to that dude. And I'm going to try and stab him in the face hole. Okay. Roll that attack. Let's see if I can do this one. Fucking it up. Oh my goodness. A hundred bits. Oh snap. Who done well, did that? Uh, we just got Ouch. a dollar. Oh baby. Fourteen. Does it hit? A fourteen, I believe, hits. Dropping that cash. Oh no, a fourteen does not hit. <sighs> No. no. Boo hoo. He just just barely like hops to the side as you stab at him. And then Um It is Falcom's turn. Alright. That elf druid. I suppose, at the moment, I will consider going and uh, hitting one of them that is nearest to me. Okay, that would be the same one that uh, All right. 
Tyler I'll just tagged. And uh, get my Shillelagh on. Excuse me, Star Bear. Let's see if I can do this all right here, and then. Ah, there we are. Oh, okay, I can't roll them together. Or do I just type them next to each other? Now it's my turn to be stupid. Uh, you, if you're trying to roll like a, you just keep putting pluses. I was going to try to roll two kinds of dices. Yeah, you you yeah. would put like slash roll 1d20 plus 3. Oh, you mean like just two... I was oh, gonna roll yeah, my no, you... and my damage. Can't do that. You can't do that, no. Ah, dang. All right, well, here's trying to be... My, he doesn't... Ah, I missed anymore. anyways. Okay. Okay. I was trying to get both the rolls in at the same time and save some time if it did hit, but that's okay. Then it is a goblin number three turn. That's the one across the room from you guys. And... He's going to choose one of them threes. Uh, he's going to attack Thalcom. He's going to shoot his short bow at you. Oh, no. He's going to kill you. I hope not. That'd be unfortunate. What's your AC? 16. He does not hit. Good. He, like, he, like, shoots way above you, and it just, the arrow, like, sticks in the ceiling. He tried to kill you in the booty hole. And oh, no. I need that. Then it Good. is Hobbs. Okay, so we have one that's fairly damaged, right? Uh, I believe the second goblin has actually not been hit. The The one that was in the barrel, Chuck just smashed his skull immediately. Yeah. 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 Alright, so let's go for the next closest one. Yeah, see if we can hit with an unarmed strike. Uh, no. The dang. Swinging a miss. Yeah. And now it is that goblin's turn. And since you're just the most recent person to swing at him, he's going to try and smack you. Go for the booty hole. I'm sorry. You're cheering for the wrong person. <laughs> Wait a second. Whose team am I on? Yes, you're on that team. Awesome. Go Russia. <laughs> Settle down there, Trump. How many things are you trying to enjoy at once, Chuck? <laughs> yes, all of them. And... What's your AC? 14. Uh, he just hits... The fourteen teen was not strong enough. Boo -hoo -hoo. But since he only has a bow, he's punching you. So right. he only does one damage. <laughs> I still stand. How, how many uh, HPs do you have? Four remaining. Four remaining. Okay. So either we'll need to try and take a short rest or get some healing in after But you this, guys... So. Uh... Oh, you were damaged from the null fight. That's right. Okay. Yes, I was the only one. Okay. I didn't get to recuperate from a Fred snack. And that'll bring it back around to Chuck and Tyler. Go, Chuck. All right. I want to do I some wanna... work. So there's two goblins, right? Yeah, there's one right next to you and one about uh, 20 feet to your north. Okay, well then I guess I'm just gonna fucking smush the one right next to me. Pop, pop. So let's roll a smush attack. D20 plus 5. Fucking Christ. We are in, our attacks are no, weak today. No, you just like smash the dirt and just barely miss Tyler's foot. Better not be killing me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and uh, dab up in there again. I'm moving for the face hole again. Okay. Put the slash at the front. 1d20. Uh, 
We should roll if he types it right. <laughs> Dang, that's a nat 20. Oh, damn, roll. Ooh. That Ooh. is max damage. 18. 18. Okay. You just, like, you stab the goblin so hard that, like, your fist goes into him. Sneak attack. I sneak <laughs> attack my fist into his throat. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. Yeah. Maybe? He doesn't okay. even know. So now... It is time for Falcom to do stuff again. I am going to attempt to make the same mistake and attack him one more time. Mm -hmm. Or is he still up? Um, no, can he's get, he's yeah. super dead. The one can in I get front to of you. The next one. Yeah. Can I get to the next one and, and make my same mistake? Uh, what's your speed? Uh, it should be thirty. Boop, boop. Yeah, you can get to him. All right. Uh, but also nothing. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so like you run over there, and he just kind of steps out of the way. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. And that would uh, that brings it to his turn. And he is going to sidestep you as you haphazardly charge at him. And then fire his bow at uh, Tyler, who just killed his friend. Ooh. And he, like, shoots the ceiling again. This ah. goblin just aims way too high. And that yeah. brings it back to the Frank and the Star Bear. You sure? You're muted again, Chuck. That was no, it brings it to Hobbs. Oh. Hobbs' turn. I, was say. I misspoke. So Hobbs, like season one of Iron Fist, has been sucking with his martial arts, so he's going to stay the fuck out of this fight and stay back. Okay. Um... Frank or Starbear? Go, Frank. Alright, I'm doing the thing. Roll that beautiful bean footage with my hammer. 17. A 17, 17. will hit. Alright, first attack roll. And this is this, the dude that's still alive right next to me, right? Oh uh, no, no! no. Ty Tyler stabbed him so hard that his fist went through his throat. Oh, I remember that. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. ran up to the other fucker with the bow, and I delivered to him thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. And I very, uh, in a, a very bravios kind of way, you green little dick. Face my justice, and your pachow. And I hope he's dead after calling that out, because if not, I'm gonna feel really awkward. Your hammer goes nah. pachow. Pachow. Oh, this that's was the noise right there. This was the goblin with the least amount of health. So like, he's like all kind of scrawny and like shaky with the bow. That's why he was missing all the time. <laughs> so you so ran up and, and hit him with the hammer. You're like, oh, taste yeah. justice, and you hit him in the sternum, and his rib cage just, like, shattered. And he knocked the highlights <laughs> out of his hair. Suck it, nerd. <laughs> Suck it, nerd. <laughs> okay, so you guys have just killed the three goblins, and now you Good. are out of combat, and looking around the oh. room, you notice there's two more doors... Or hallways. There's not really doors in this cave. There's a hallway many... leading north and a hallway leading west. 
So and you came in other... from the east. So. Okay, so there's a hallway straight across from us and a hallway to our right. Yeah. Right, okay. And then there's some fucking trees, but who cares about trees? Uh... Right, but magical trees growing from unnatural light. Dan, are you muted? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was just agreeing with you. <laughs> okay. Except that, except that uh, I do care about trees. Actually, now okay. that you're looking around since you're out of battle, you do also notice that it seems like the barrels are very neatly placed. Mm, I'm going to kick one of them fuckers over. Okay. <laughs> Taste foot justice, you barreled motherfucker. <laughs> Chow. Yeah. Like they're they're unnaturally tidy for goblins. Yeah. Either I just kick some nice druid's barrel of grain over, or these goblins are up to no fucking good. <laughs> no fucking good. Okay. How much alcohol did Frank bring with him? What's that? How much alcohol did Frank bring for this quest? Uh, I got a bottle Enough. of whiskey in the other room, but I'm out in my glass right now, and it's sad. I would ask Ashley to get me some more, but I feel like she's going to judge me. If she hasn't judged you by now. <laughs> I think it's too late for that. Yeah. <laughs> this game is the one she just said. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I you're scattered about this the room. Now. One of the grain barrels is now knocked over. There's grain all over the floor in front of the nice, neat barrels. Is there a fucking passage behind the barrel? No. There's dirt oh, behind the barrel. barrel. I, I There's a the wall barrel. of dirt behind the barrel. <laughs> How about under the barrel? Oh, shit. No, there doesn't appear to be anything under the barrel. Were there now just the three barrels? There were... Six barrels in this cubby. There were four lights. All of yeah. <laughs> but Chuck, uh, there are four the lights. <laughs> I won't open oh, the rest shit. of them. And see I got the on. reference. <laughs> I got the reference. <laughs> Took me a second, man. It's the quiet dude that bites fucking you up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm still on like the. Uh... <laughs> He's on the the barrel got kicked over. <laughs> Yeah, the tire is just <laughs> strong. All right, guys, do you want to go right or you want to go straight? Um, straight. Do we want to just move the rest of these barrels real quick? And yeah. Make sure... Let's kick right. over the rest yeah, of the barrels. Yeah, I'll help out. I'll I don't kick know that we need to kick them all barrels. over. That's how we're going to get ants. <laughs> 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 what we have, right. Fred. Fred doesn't eat ants. He's too good for that shit. I will assist in moving barrels and give Fred some grain. Is the grain hops? What? I'm just trying to see if we can make some more for you. To make dance. some beer. Yeah. Oh, shit. Are there hops? No, they're just hops. Are there hops? <laughs> Are there um, hops? Because if there's one thing that Frank loves more than bacon, it's fucking hops. Well, not hops, but beer. Hobbs. Oh damn! Which, which, which oh, by proxy? <laughs> One of the barrels is full of hops. <laughs> All right, let's go set that barrel aside. By the we're not uh, come back for that. Yeah, we're when we leave, we're taking that with us. I was like, oh, what the hey? I'll roll a d twenty. If it's a twenty, it's full of hops. And I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it. <laughs> you better roll because you're the lucky one. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll into a fucking bar. I'm going to set a barrel of hops down on the counter. I'm like, turn this into beer, please. Keep. Nice. Beer me. <laughs> beer me, you bitch. And they're going to be like, you're a fucking idiot. And then I'm going to hit him with my hammer. You probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> that'll, wow. that'll probably get you in some trouble with the guards. If you hit them with right. a hammer, they won't give you beer. This is also true. I suggest we pick a hallway and walk on down it. Do uh, it. I think Hobbs said, let's go straight, because he's still uncomfortable <laughs> with the other choice. So let's go straight. Going straight. Um, you go down this Sorry. hallway. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Nothing. <laughs> Romance. Don't worry about it. 
you go down the hallway. It it goes about fifteen feet before opening up into another room. Uh, this is a bit smaller than the previous rooms. It's only about thirty feet across, twenty five feet I give wide. This room a nice quick eyeballing. Yeah, That's you see idea. to your left. Like right by the door, just about, you see another one of them unnatural beams of light through the sky with a tree. And across the room, same thing, but to the left of that tree, there is also a large pool of water. Can I see if I see anybody else hiding out in this room? It does not appear so... Roll a oh, perception. No... I shall, because I am proficient at that. So I might as well use it. Yeah, that'll be good to know if there's any extra assholes in this room. Then I didn't do good anyways. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you see four assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. This is what I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Um. This is just confirmed what I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Calling us all assholes? Yes, he is. So you far. First, I am the biggest of all the assholes, I know. Do -do -do. Keep firing, assholes! Alright, let's look in this room and check out some water. Is it good old-fashioned drinking water? It is water. Speaking of drinking it's, water, um, there... it's a little dirty. That it dirty smells, water. you know, like if you get like a big handful of water that's like sitting on top of mud and it just smells like dirt. Oh yeah, fuck that water. No. Does our hobs need healing? Speaking of water. <laughs> Oh yeah, have we considered uh, taking a short rest or what we want to do for getting health back? Because I have like two spell slots. I am a reverse healer, so I cannot assist. I can I'm use reverse healer. I can use all of my spell slots uh, to heal you guys back. Do you have a good berry? Uh, good berry, home with a good berry. Can I, I take your? I believe that we did not go with that. I didn't think we had oh. a ranger. Oh yeah, Stop. you don't. He's a druid. Never mind. Uh, yeah. I have cure wounds instead. Um. Is there another passage out of this room? Uh, yes, there is a passage to the right. Should point well, that sure. out with the perception check. Ten was enough to know that. Um. Short rest is an hour long. I thought it was, like, shorter than that, but I don't know. No, it's an hour. I think it's an hour. I am 78% certain it's an hour long. I think an hour would be a very long time to be trying to defend ourselves in a room without doors. Yeah. Or help with defense. Hobbs, yeah. do you got ranged attacks? No. Are you proficient in any ranged weapon? Are you a monk? Monk. Or a ranged, or a rogue? Monk. I did not hear what you said. Monk. You're a monk? Yeah, I get your... Just one second. Uh oh. Chris died. Not yet. I still see him. He's, he's on a whiskey run. That's what oh, I need to no, be on. He's getting the book. He's gonna read some shit. Nerd. <laughs> I have my own books now. The Necronomicon. The Necronomicon. I do too. They're just on Google Drive. Are javelins monk weapons? Javelins you'd rather do with spears than I should say monks should do with spears. Are javelins monk okay. weapons? I do not recall. I don't know. Google. If they are, I have a couple ja javelins you could borrow. No, I don't think I think I can use as a spear. Okay. Then Are I cannot be your assistant. Uh 
Um, Odette has a light crossbow you could probably borrow off of her unconscious body. Is she unconscious? I mean, isn't that what we assume when they're not at the session? She ran yeah. away. She's, She's hiding. Happy. Yeah, I fucking like a loose chunk of big dirt clod just like fell from the cave randomly and hit her in the head. Yes. She went back to the... Taking a oh. dirt nap, but not the kind of where you're dead. That's the only kind of dirt <laughs> yeah. nap. We I just mean, made that's... a new one. No, no, the dead one is a metaphorical dirt nap. He's talking about a literal dirt nap. <laughs> yeah. Where well, they can throw a spear. I have a javelin. I have javelin and hand axes. Anyways. If you can use either one of those, you can borrow mine. While your health is low. And well, attack. I, I would say at this point, it might just be easier to cast the spells and be done with it. Because we're, we're burning time. We are burning time. That's fine. Are there no healing cantrips? No. That'd be too nice. No. Yeah. If there were, it would be like a standard action for one HP. Right. Um, and we don't but a uh, short rest should be one hour. Um, yeah. Do you want to take a short rest? I uh, yeah. If we're needing, I'm down. Yeah, I am down HP. Oh, only two of you guys need to rest. Uh, javelin wow. is a simple weapon. Monk can use it. The rest of us can can watch, and by that yeah, I mean. Can... The other two of us can watch, and you two can rest. Right, we can guard while you rest. All right, we're, do we we're both at full that? health. So who's Seems... guarding? Me and uh, the panel. The uh, elves? Yes. Or do we just want to take a door each? or? Sure, that works for me. OK. Uh, I'm going to wait at the door that we have not been through yet, and I'm also going to attempt to stealth myself over there, because that is something I can do. All right. I have, yeah. I have some natural stealthiness. Yeah, we'll short rest. That way uh, Hobbs and I can recover a little HP. Is okay. there a roll we need to make? It's a hit uh, die. Just hit die. Well, I meant to see if we make it through the hour. Uh, yeah, the people taking a watch can roll d12, one of you. I don't think Probably, you both yeah. need to. If you're doing a short oh. rest, it can just be one of you. Gonna roll my stealthy stealth real quick here. Roll low, or I'll be disappointed in you. Okay. Uh, boy, the, the tens are, are strong with me tonight. Oh, you're it's uh, d12. No, that's my stealth rule. Oh. I'm stealthing ahead of our unknown combat situation. There you go. Okay, where are you stealthing ahead to? The door to the north? The door that we have not yet been through. Okay, yeah, you get uh, you get to like the opening in this room for the hallway, mm -hmm. and you notice the hallway continues for about 10 feet, and then there's actually a door. Oh, okay, then. It's like a crude door. Looks like it was just nailed together out of a bunch of scrap planks. Giggity. For what it's worth. We'll scrap that scrap door. Okay. Did you roll hit die? Oh, I'm gonna wait for our rest to be finished. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I rolled the encounter check. Yeah. Nothing happens. Okay. We'll tell those pansies to get up then. Alright, yeah. I regain 13 HP. What the? Those D12 hit die. Oh, oh yeah. Those paladin hit die. Or barbarian hit die, man. It's ridiculous. I am at max health. Nice. How much do you get, Hobbs? Alright, just where I need your help. What am I rolling? Uh, on your character sheet, uh, click up above where it says short rest. It should be above your proficiency and inspiration box. See and then on that, it should say I see it. Hit die. 
So roll that plus the modifier, and that's how much HP you recover. Ah, perfect. I'm full of health. Nice. 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 It's just what you needed. Uh, a little pep back in your step. Nice, nice. All right. So, what are we doing now? Let's uh, continue on to this scraggly door. Yeah. I agree with that. If you want, I can try and open it quietly. Uh. I think that's a good idea, because I was going to say, I could sneak up behind you and be ready to back you up, but I'm also very large and not bright, so I might fuck um, that up. If you want to roll it, open it quietly, roll me a sleight of hand check. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, hold on. I can do those, but I'm not over there, so. There we go. Nice. You open the door very quietly. How much do you open it? Uh, just enough to kind of peek my head in and see what I can see. And then beyond that, I may continue pushing it as I need to. Okay. Um, I assume I'll perceptify. Yeah. Um, you can make out pretty clearly, actually, looking through the doorway. It kind of op it opens into a very large room. It's about thirty-five feet across to the other side, mm -hmm. and it continues off to the left for about fifty feet. There's a uh, couple of very large groups of trees, those unnatural trees, and then there's a giant stack of crates that's stacked very neatly and then has a big chair on top of it and there's a uh, a very large goblin sitting on the chair it's got like okay. a crude crown on his head are there any others in this room that I'm able to see yeah. you do notice there's a a couple of regular looking goblins with scimitars flanking him and the, okay. the big stack of crates is in front of a very large body of water. All right, so a couple scimitars. I will uh, kind of just back off the door and then share that with everyone else. All right. Do we have a plan of attack? I could. Uh, I only have one useful attack for this, and I could ice dagger them and attempt to hit all three of them. Uh, and one attack, or ice knife. Another option. If we want to just have an advantage attack. That nice. is probably the wisest option, but I don't know if it's the option that Frank would be fond of. I think Frank would be in favor of you throwing the door open. I jump through and throw a javelin at the javelin. Uh, the, the Goblin King dude as hard as I fucking can. Be like, fuck you, Bowie, and just like throw it at his face. If you want, we could both <laughs> fuck throw you, things Bowie. at his face. Because uh, Goblin King. I get that reference. That's right. We could both throw things at him as we kick the door down. So, uh, Hobbs and Sexstar, what do you guys think? Sexstar? I like this yeah. plan. Uh, you I know, I'm okay with that. How far, how, you said the room is 35 feet across, but there are like trees and shit in the way? Are they yeah, in the it's, way? A, it's about 35 feet like from the, the doorway where you open the door, mm -hmm. straight ahead to the wall on the other side. And the room mm -hmm. also seems to continue like off to your left about 50 feet. Okay. But, but you can't like... you can't see what's going on to the right of the door because it sort of like opens to the right. Okay. But there but are those tree are, things. Are we do we have clear line of sight on the Goblin King? Yes. Okay. Can and I... on the three other goblins? There's there's two others. 
There's two like others. the okay, the got goblin you. goblin king sitting on his throne, and then two others standing next to him. Okay, I think that's a good idea. One of you should throw the door open for us, and uh, we're gonna let our good character's name. Thalcom. Thalcom. Uh, Thalcom and I will bust into the room like a fucking Kool-Aid man and get off our ranged attacks. And then we can retreat into the hallway to... Well, of course, they don't really have a numerical advantage, but... We could try and draw them in. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Just oh, yeah. in case there's actually more than three of them. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. If they're hiding in them fucking trees... Mm -hmm. And start shooting like fucking arrows and shit. We could be in trouble. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of them just sitting around waiting to go wide and tie at us. Yeah. So, yeah. Who's going to throw the door open? I'll do it. What do we need? Chris, Hobbs is throwing the door open. Um. Uh, are you, like, kicking it or just pushing it open? He's opening it. Uh, does it push into the room or does it pull out from the room? Uh, it pushes into the room and like swings to the right. Pushing. We need to startle them. So you can so see I'm to the to... left of it. Well, it's yeah. a coordinated. His job. This is a yeah, weak door. Right? Job is... It's a weak ass door. You can, can just, just probably explode can I just it. Just destroy it. Um. Yeah. If you want to give me like, just roll a d20. Plus your strength. Plus my what? Uh, strength. And then as that door explodes, Chuck and I are both going to launch shit at, at the Goblin King. Yeah. Fuck that door. Nice. I hope it explodes into their eye parts. Little splinters. Oh, yeah. And you, you guys are readying, like, ranged actions? Or... Yep. Yeah. Once okay. that door's open, we're going to hop into the room just far right. enough. I'll to say, us. like, Hobbs kicks the door and it, it just shatters apart with a 22. And you guys, like, step forward and get a couple attacks off. One each. Right. Oh, God damn. My, my javelin is going at that fucking Goblin King. And I got a 17. A 17? Yeah. Uh... That... is... a hit. Alright, give me... let's see. Okay. And then, my damage is... Eight piercing damage. Oh, did we get any damage out of the splinters from the door? Um, no, no. Dang. I guess we didn't hope that something would have ran away. Yeah. Okay. Did you roll your attack, Falcom? Yeah. Yeah, I got mine's on 11, so I assume that's going to miss. Oh, uh, you're aiming for the Goblin King? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to miss. Are you going Goblin King? Or Okay, I thought you were going the two goblins. Well, I'm throwing it at the Goblin King, so then the ice, he's, they still have to make dexterity saves to see if they're hit by the uh, shards. Okay, what did what did you cast? Ice Knife. How close is the Goblin King and the other two goblins? Um, the other two goblins are... They're, like, right next to him. They're within five feet of the king, probably. Okay. okay. Perfect. So all three of them still need to make uh, dexterity saves. Uh, and they need to okay. be a 13. A 13. Yes. For the Goblin King. Goblin King. 
saves. Damn. The first goblin also saves. Uh. But the second regular goblin does not. Hooray! It's the only useful combat <laughs> I think I've had this entire game. Nice. <laughs> so he will take 10 damage. Okay, is this like half damage for everybody else, or just, just damage no, if it hits? No, just, okay. just if they fail. Alright. Uh, and it is 10 cold damage. I oh, mean, cold, ice cold damage. That's right. So, like, the shards go out. One of them sticks, like, right in the left side of his chest. And he, like, falls to a knee, clutching it. And then falls on his face. Yeah, I did something useful. And the Goblin King and the other Goblin look around like, what, what? What, what? And then, initiative. Are we gonna fall back? Um, yeah, go fall back. Run away. Yep. Okay. Is it initiative time? Those are words. I'll say you burst through the door, then jump in, throw things, and jump back out. I'll give you like half your movement to move back out. Okay. That okay. was our crazy plan. So hopefully we can draw them into a choke point situation. Oh, baby. That's right. Get her. That was your point. Your point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take point. Okay. Um, but now... Oh, the... also, uh, as I use my action to move back into the hallway, before that part of my turn is I... Nope. I'm sorry. I'm not going to say that sentence. Continue mm -hmm. on. My bad for interrupting. Okay. It's initiative time. Initiative. Rolling initiative. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Woohoo. Two. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> Man, we are all all rolling below average. We sure are. There we go. Now the this, room that you guys I think this are in. Dice is waited. Is I think it on is. The I don't roll this low usually. Oh, I do sometimes. I don't. I roll well, like a proper gentleman. What is happening? Uh, somebody made I it green. don't know. We've gone. Teal. Fucking hangouts oh, I... turned pink for me. Yeah, ironically, it's green on my screen, and now. Oh, now it's, it's like orange. Blue. We've gone plaid. That's weird. Why does it turn in colors? In Hangouts. Oh, are you messing with stuff? Yeah. Strangely enough, it's a different color in the stream than it is on my TV. I'm pretty sure it's a different color for you, it's everybody. It's a 30-second delay. It's rotating through colors, and it's on it's... a 30-second delay. Is it I rotating? Mean... I thought it was just... Okay. Can you make it stop doing that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So it makes done... it a little difficult to read. You, you done goofed. Oh, no, no, no. Uh... Oh, no. Now you done goofed it up. Oh. Ruined it for everybody. Uh, nope. hang on. Uh, you need to type slash bikes, uh, bike shed. That's what I did to change it in the first place. Oh, normally no, it needs to be the same command. Same command will stop it. 
It just cycles different colors. Oh no, what have you done? I've ruined it for everybody. Well, let's maybe try and continue playing the game, and we'll also try to figure this crap out too. Okay. Pony Stampede? <laughs> it's true. It's actually Pony Stream, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Man. Everybody stop trying to fix it for a minute and uh, All right. do this instead. You got it. What are we doing? I got four for my initiative. Yeah, I had ten. Yeah. We, we rolled it up before this disaster started. I also got ten. I will say... Only, like, two of you can be, like, if you want to stay in the hallway, like, outside of the room to throw things, like, only two of you can be up there. I am not planning to The hallway is only, like, five feet wide. I'm not planning to throw anymore, so I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not, I want to stand back in the hallway a little bit, so as people come into the hallway, I can introduce them with my hammer. Introduce them to the hammer. I should name my hammer. Oh, Lord. Uh, Mjolnir? What's another... No. <laughs> no, what's no. Another... It's got to be with an F. Yeah, it's got to be an F. I got Frank Fred. Uh, Fjolnir. Francis. <laughs> Fuck. My hammer's name is Francis. <laughs> I am going to introduce I like Mitch's Francis. idea. Your hammer's name is Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Then I can go get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Frank. I have a pet mouse named Fred, and my hammer is called Fucked. That way, okay. my battle cry can be Get Fucked. Are you guys <laughs> rolling? Perfect. Are you rolling initiative? We already did. I rolled. I got a four. Did it not? It's up there. It's up there. You want us to roll again? I will happily roll again. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, you rolled them above where I typed stop bike shit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can just take those. Apparently you have to close and reinitiate the hangout to clear the... Alright, uh, real quick, because I don't have your character sheets open, what's everyone's max health? Ten. Fifteen! Nine. Mine is also nine. Did you say 10, Mitch? 10. Okay. All right. And now it's goblin initiative rolling time. I just got real quiet. We're off yeah. We're not about to get fucked. I muted myself so you can't hear me rolling dice. Oh, boo. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. I rolled dice once. That's once. supposed to work. Is that it? didn't work, Tyler. There we go. Fuck it.
I don't know how we can uncolor, but oh well. <laughs> Okay, it's time for the going. Uh, the... Oh, man. How oh. exciting. Uh oh. What um. The... Oh. Are you guys all... You guys are all still in the hallway, aren't you? Well, we're, we're kind yeah, of in the room the behind the hallway. Uh, Chris, if you cl uh, close your Hangout tab and reopen it, uh, it'll be back to the normal color scheme. Oh. Okay. Sweet. My bad, guys. You done ruined it for everybody. You done goofed. <laughs> Don't do it our, again. In our other group. Okay. Yeah. So... There we go. Do you guys have the door shut right now? I don't think you said, I... but all... No, I think he shattered the door. I don't think it could be shut. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he shattered it apart. Um, yeah. Looking across the room that 35 feet to the north... From out of the large group of trees comes an arrow. That dick. From <laughs> are we back in the we're back in the hallway, right? Yeah, there's a there's a large group of trees just ever so slightly to the left of the doorway, oh, all so the way across the yeah. They're shooting into the doorway. Shooting into the doorway from across the room, yeah. Okay. Uh, my and, first uh, suggestion would be retreat. Which I, I thought we were doing anyways, so. Yeah. Um, yep. But he got his shot off before you retreat. So... <laughs> what an um, ass. Who was at the front of the hallway? Me. AC's 15. I'd yeah, say that wanna... does not hit. It, like, lands right in between your feet. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure we move back past that bend in the hallway. Uh, that way, no one's got line of sight on us from the room. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that... It uh, appears like a bend in the hallway on the stream, but that's actually the room you just came out of. I'll move this up so you can okay. see. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, oh. Uh, we'll move... Around that corner a bit. Yeah, just Back. enough so that no one's got eyeballs on us. Oh, okay. All right. Um, after that goblin trying to shoot at you, it was the goblin king had the next highest initiative. And he is going to respond to your javelin throwing with a javelin throw of his own. And son of a bitch. Yeah. The arrow is like split in half, almost as if he was aiming for it, and lands also at your feet. Suck it, bitches. <laughs> And then next would be um, next would be either Hobbs or Falcon. Should you guys roll the same on your initiative? I'll uh, delay my turn for a little bit here, okay. so you can go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to continue moving back out. I guess I can I can probably do that on my turn. So if I have not done so already. Yeah, you you can out. just do that now. You can like if you guys both just want to move backwards, you can do that. We're just gonna move backwards. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll do that. But then. And uh, if it's all right, I might take a a chance to try and stealth myself uh, near the door. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I figure I'm proficient in it. I might as well try and do it. And god dang. And you... you you're do around well. the corner right. in another room, so you're not sure if they know exactly where you are, but you think they have a hunch. And now it is... Tyler's turn. Uh, you just me... want to back up as well? Uh, uh, not necessarily. Um, so w they're all backing up into this last room that we were just in. Um, yeah. I kind of want to stealth at the corner here. Kind of like what Talcum is trying to do. Just like right inside the room to the right on the map? Yeah, to the right of our door. Like okay. the right of our side of the hallway. It's basically the same thing he's doing. Mm hmm. And let me see what. You can go ahead and try to stealth, even if you're not proficient in it. Oh, you're a rogue, so you should be. I'm, I'm a rogue. My plus yeah. is 8. Uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. I think not only am I proficient, but I'm like extra proficient or whatever that is. Oh yeah, I'm expertise. I'm I'm a stealth expert. Yeah, you hunker down and think to yourself, <laughs> no idea where I am. No. I'm also apparently an expert in production, <laughs> which I didn't realize. Yeah, I'm huh. proficient at both of those as well. Uh, next is I got the trait for them. Ooh, fancy. Next is a goblin next to the king. He just starts, like, walking towards you, Frank. Like, well, running toward you. Okay. I'm back in the hallway, so, uh... This bitch yeah. can bring it. And he is right here, so... What is his speed? Okay. It's five. I'm sorry. He's very <laughs> slow. He's not gonna make it. He's wheezing okay. by the time he gets off his throne. He just barely has enough movement to get to you and tries to whack you with his scimitar. That dick. He's about to catch a whole lot of get fucked. <laughs> oh, snap. He hits, if I remember correctly, that your AC is 15. It is 15 indeed. He does four damage. That asshole. Yeah. That asshole. Hopefully he does not do that many more times. Sorry, I'm about to put a whole lot of hurt on him. Um, oh, dang. Are they going ham? Um... A another random goblin appears from the right side of the hallway. So how many goblins are we up to? Uh, five, including the king. Them sons of bitches. There are a few of them, it turns out. <laughs> There's a few of them. And he hits. At me? Yeah, you're the only one close enough. That poop sniffer. <laughs> and he does... Wow. He did seven. Fucking Christ. I have four HP left. Oh, damn. Oh, Good thing it. you saved that spell. Falcom. Yep. You, you should stop delaying your spell. 
I'm Are gonna you, go. Uh, well, oh, you you guys killed one, so there's uh, yeah, there's four if you, yeah, there's four if you include the Goblin King. Did I say four? You said five. You okay. said five. It's four. There are four. Lying to us. Gotta get myself some Dr. Beer. <gasps> I don't have oh, any Dr. beer. beer I have whiskey, though. Uh, it's the Dr. Beer that's left over from last time, last time, last time. The king of Dr. Beers. Oh, okay. the king of Dr. Beers. Oh, and I know what it is. Local brewery Hefeweizen. So now... It, now... No, it's, it's, it's commodity beer. It it is now Frank and Fuck's turn. Frank and Fuck. <laughs> uh, Frank, Frank and Talcum. Fuck. Frank and Fuck. Talcum, were, you, uh, <laughs> were you undelaying your turn so you can heal me? If that is acceptable, uh, I would do that. Okay. I'll, How about I'll allow it. You can heal okay. me before I take my attack or after. Um, I might do it now. So. Okay. Because it doesn't matter. Unless yeah, you have a way to get health back. No, I don't. We need more dots. More dots, much, more dots. How much heals do I get? Ten. Oh, snap. Back up to 14. Da -da -da -da. But that is all I have. So, good luck. Oh. Alright. First things first, I'm going into my rage. I'm angry and shit. Oh, snap. Second thing, second. This Goblin King, he's gonna get fucked. You're gonna, you're gonna run past those two for the Goblin King. I thought the Goblin King moved up on me and attacked me with something. Or no, he, he threw something. a javelin at you. Is what there a dude it? in melee range? Two of them. Two of them. If there's a dude in melee range, I'm there's, going to. There's there's two that both just hit you. They're like right in front of you. Oh, one of them's getting fucked then. With a 14 to hit. My confidence in that fucking is low. Uh, yeah, that, that misses. Uh, Fuck. Parnell, are you still... Was that... Was your healing... Was it touch? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Well, I, I, my rage is still activated. and I'm just hanging out there. So, I'll be the, the door stop for now. Alright, well, Hold I'll probably... I'll probably be right there with you, so maybe we can take turns getting uh, dicked. Okay. Well, now that I uh, have my raged, I'll only take half damage from their attacks. So. Ah. Well, that'll help. Mm. So yeah, that is the end of my turn. The end of your turn. The end. Marks the beginning of the the goblin in the trees fires another arrow in your direction that dick and he's let me see this real quick oh yeah he doesn't have a problem short bow range is 80 feet Um, he does have a problem. He sucks. Good. <laughs> he miss. He, he, he can misses stay that you. way forever. And like goes in between your legs and lands in the dirt right in front of Falcom's legs. I kick it over. Right. I can handle that. <laughs> you kick the arrow over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take that Nine. arrow. Ah. I'm doing my part. I'm helping. Okay. I've defeated the enemy. And then it's the Goblin King's turn again. Wait, what? I feel like Hobbs and I both didn't go. Did you not? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I skip? I did. No, no. I did uh, Thalcom and... Falcom and Hobbs went at the same time, and they both oh, retreated, and then you stealthed. Okay, okay. Gotcha. 
I, I just don't have a grasp on. Oh, Chuck just is that slow. I yeah, this is this is fairly large yeah. combat. There's four of you and five goblins, or were five. You killed one and, already. And the... Chuck is just that slow. Yeah, I rolled a four for initiative, so he is yeah. last. You know. Yeah. Uh, it is the goblins' king. The go the goblin king's turn. Yeah. Um. He sent that heal, and he's going to try and hit Thalcom behind you. But because of the small hallway, I made him roll disadvantage, and that is a critical one. Oh, baby. So now I'm going to roll... I'm actually going to roll another hit die to see if he hits one of his own goblins, and he totally fucking did. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. I got that healer aggro. <laughs> and he fucking uh, <laughs> he he oh, fucking boy. kills him. <laughs> <laughs> I shout out. I'll take that. He's like, I'm gonna get that healer, and he throws a javelin, and, like, the javelin just goes, like, in the back of one of the goblins that just hit you, Chuck. Sorry about that. And, nice. like, protrudes out of his abdomen. <laughs> it's <from> I, can... <laughs> I can't Put deal damage. Stick away, you foul, perverted creature. I can't deal damage, <laughs> but I can draw damage into the enemies. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so now it is back to freaking uh, Hobbs and Thalcom. So All right, how, I will how, let... Go ahead. If you want to go first. No, how close am I to the Goblin King? Uh, it's kind of a clusterfuck in the hallway. You're behind hey. Thalcom, who's behind Frank, who's in front of a goblin. And then the Goblin King is like 30 feet from the hallway. If okay. you want, I can try and take the Goblin first, if that would clear a path for you. So... Yeah, you go first. Okay. I'm gonna roll to see if I hit him. Do it. I should. That looks good. Oh, damn. So you ran up and just did ice knife again, or no? This this is with my my stick, my pokey stick. Oh, you just like ran up to the goblin king and smacked him, or? Oh no no, I'm not going for the goblin king. I'm going for the oh, goblin just... that, that's right in front of us. You're just going for the one that's not dead in front of Chuck. Okay. Yes. So that way we can clear a path, uh, and I'm gonna shillelagh the shit out of him. I think. I hope. Let me double check my my numbers on that to make sure I'm not being a dork. Well, I mean, I'm not. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, all right. Thank goodness oh, I get dang. a good bonus on that. Oh well. But you rolled a critical one. No, that was my damage. Oh, that was your dam. Oh yeah, you're right. You rolled a fucking twenty-two for hit. Uh, yeah. Seven mm. damages. Okay. You fucking like whack the goblin a good one and he is looking fucking rough. Like he is wobbling like he's about to fall over, but he's like shaking his head like somebody trying to act like they're not drunk when they are. Chuck. <laughs> you talking about right. me? <laughs> yeah, like Chuck all the time. Not all the time. Okay, I don't most of the time. Thalcom yeah. just ran up next to you and whacked the other goblin in front of you so hard that like he looks like he's drunk now because he can barely stand. All right. I, so... I failed to end his life and clear a path for you. I'm going to take yeah. this goblin. I'm going to pop my claws. Oh, we can't say the official Logan Wolverine... Um, claw pop noise, because that's copyrighted. No, but I do use claws. 
And you say <laughs> shoe <laughs> <laughs> no, we. And now here. That's what you heard is me missing. Yep. He's got the uh, the the goblins with scimitars have shields, and he just sort of like pling. So I slash air. Mm-hmm. Different scimitar tires. Somehow his drunken wobble was just right for you to miss him. Fucking boxing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch that chicken chan. Alrighty. It is. Well, it would be that goblin's turn, but he's dead. So it's uh, it's Starbearer's turn. Oh shit! My turn. What you doing, Starbear? Uh, so there's the almost a goblin in front of us, and then. Two mysterious shooty goblins and the Goblin King, right? Uh, there's the wobbly one in front of you, and then the mysterious shooty one and the Goblin King. There's only one mysterious shooty one. Oh, okay. Uh, so there's a, there's I... only three goblins up that you can see now. All right, I'm gonna poke at the wobbly dude. Nope. Not equals. Lost. Hey. Hey, there it is. I'm. I mean. You're gonna explode his face. Oh I'm damn! Exploding his face. Fucking. That's your second crit of the night. Fucking uh -huh. max damage, bro. Who, who are you attacking again? That wobbly goblin. Oh, the wobbly goblin. Um... So I didn't need a crit, of course, but... Okay. That's fine. It's just going to be that much more brutal, I guess. I'm going to say, since you're a wiry cat person rogue, you can get in there and make an attack at him. But under normal circumstances, you would not have been able to, because there's already three people in the hallway plus the goblin. Oh. Well, he could just step over me since I fell on my face. Yeah. He just, like, Catman climbed across the wall and... That's right, I get a climbing speed, so... Hardcore parkour. Whoa. You uh, run along what's... the wall and you just lean what's over your... and just... Swing! What's your max damage? Uh, it's... Oh, I guess low. it doesn't fucking matter. This guy had one mm -hmm. health. I say, I don't think it matters much, does it? He yeah, was no. wobbly with one, one hit point. One health and I didn't hit him. Yeah. That's fine. I couldn't kill him either. And then, somebody, and then Tyler did twelve damage. I mean, technically, I theoretically did eighteen damage, but yeah, like he... you go to stab him in the eye, and your dagger just like slides down his face and splits his face in half. <laughs> okay, so now. It's that freaking sneaky ass. Oh, it's Frank's turn. I forgot oh, Frank rolled so low bad. on initiative. Yeah, I did a bad job. <laughs> All right. You did a bad thing. So one of these dicks is still alive right next to me, right? No. 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 Now there's goblin that, kings. There was one boy. left in front of you, and he just fell down from uh, from right. Catman stabbing him. You ha you're the frontmost person in the hallway, though, so you're yep. wide open view of the room, and you see a goblin poking his head out from the trees on the north side, and the goblin king is Sneaky standing boy. on the crates in front of his chair. Can, with my movement speed of 30, can I get to the goblin king? Uh, Yeah, you should be able to. Let's see. Five, All right. I'm gonna move up on that dude. Yeah, each one of these uh, squares is five feet. So and the Goblin yeah, King's standing move... right there. I'm gonna get up on that dick, and I'm gonna smash you him. What? You heard me. <laughs> you heard me. I'm gonna get up on that dick and hit it with fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. 
He's about to get eight kinds of fucked. And watch, I'm gonna roll super fucking low. <sighs> fucking shit. <laughs> That's a 12. Uh, 12 does not hit. He's wearing, like, a chain shirt and a shield and a crown, and he looks real mean. And, like, you go to hit him, and he, like, just puts his shield up and blocks it and then stares at you. He wants to go down on him. He said, nah. <laughs> you know what? Right now, Fred's really disappointed me, and he's considering moving out. No. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm leaving this muffin. He's like, you're a fucking loser, dude. Fred is mine. All right, that's <laughs> it for my turn. I'm up on the Goblin King, but I'm still... That's uh, a good I'm... threat, though. Like, if you leave us, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Uh, now it is Archer Man's turn, and he decides he wants to be a hero and save the king. Oh, damn. He might do a decent job, too. And he might not. He does four damage. Which is two because you're raging? Yes? Or did you... Uh, no, you didn't... No. Did you not get to... hit last turn? I have to make an attack or I have to be hit. I made an attack. It does not say it has to be successful. Okay. So that so, is two damage that I'll take. Two. I am at 12 HP. All right. That is acceptable. Yeah. And then... Now it's back to... Ooh, it's the Goblin King's turn. This asshole. Hopefully he doesn't king you. I hope he doesn't king me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And he's gonna make two attacks at you. Ah, oh, shit. That he's asshole. Like, he's like an next level boy. Uh, your AC is 15? Correct. First one does not hit. Nice. Neither does the second. Oh, yeah. So he blocks your maul and stares at you like he's a badass and then misses you twice. I, uh... I give him a real long, slow, strong wink. And that's it. <laughs> Um, it is now back to Hobbs okay. and Falcon. So I am going to use my feline agility to sprint over to him, to the king. Okay. And I am going to attempt an unarmed strike. And son of a bitch, I am the worst monk ever. Yeah. You like sprint over half the time that it would normally take and the Goblin King's eyes go wide like he's expecting something terrible and then nothing. Yeah. Uh, Th Thalcom? Thalcom? Um, would I have the ability to get over to the, the sneaky archer in the tree? Um... He's like right at this corner I, here. I do so. have five feet of reach with my quarter staff. <laughs> okay. So are you still you're still like in the first square of the hallway, so uh with five feet of reach, yeah, you can you can just get there and like whack him with the end of your staff. Nice. That's all I need. Whack him real hard with your stuff. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get some more shillelagh going on here. Just the tip. Just, Just the tip. That's right. Just enough. Uh, 
Oh. No, I crit fail. Good job. Oh, not just enough. Oh, man. I am not about to say. Google Hangout really <laughs> dicey thing. This thing is <laughs> fucked. So, like, you run over there, and you're really excited about attacking this guy, so you, like, reach out as far as you can with your staff, and he just sort of, like, goes like that, and you fall forward on the floor. Yay. Okay. I have not been very lucky with this here Google Roller. It is? I don't think any of us have. I have. Tyler has. Shut up, Tyler. I will say, know. there have been a you lot a of low rolls on this thing. We should use physical dice. I don't know if you can handle physical dice right now, sir. I can. You don't know how drunk I can be <laughs> and still successfully play Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. I got it. It's like driving. I'm great at it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> don't drink and drive, kids. Uh, that's bad <laughs> Actually, right. kids, don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> Our kids supposed to be driving. <laughs> I, I or drive. Don't drive either. Don't drive either. <laughs> but adults, don't drink and drive. Okay. And this is the night we get banned. <laughs> From your friendly uh, friends at D&D. All right, enough. From myself, <laughs> it's uh, it's freaking Tylerio's turn. Starbear, what's Starbear doing? Yo, um, Starbear hamstring. What's his butt's on the throne, right? Yeah, um, currently, Frank and Hobbs are in front of the throne and. I'm yeah. looking for my contacts on the ground. They're like in front of the crude stone steps and crude throne steps and the Goblin King is on the steps. I'm going to walk up to the Goblin King. Okay. If you walk, you only get about halfway there. So next up... Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on now. You know better than that. <laughs> You're going to use feline swiftness to just walk really fast? Absolutely. It's going to okay. uh, grandma walk them all over there. <laughs> I'm feline agility -ing. Speed walking. I'm speed walking. Okay. Aggressively speed walking. <laughs> You're going to aggressively speed walk up to the Goblin King and do what? Dab him in the face hole. Okay. On the side of the face hole, excuse me. Roll that okay. beautiful bean footage. Ah, uh, no. I'm just, I'm just unlucky. I was gonna say, we all know your dice suck, Parnell, so... I know. I, I just rolled <laughs> another one. I'm uh, just I hopeless. I hit. Oh, man. No. Ooh. Um, he... Decides he's gonna do something special this time. Uh oh, I don't like it when he does special arms. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Uh -oh. <laughs> right, never, never mind. Alright, I resign myself to failure. It is freaking. Goblin Hawkeye's turn. I need more moves that require that the enemy makes rolls because apparently I can't roll for shit no matter what. Oh shit. That's a good idea. I'm used to playing with Alex where he rolls really well and all of my spells where I make him roll I fucking fell hard on. But you should do the opposite and make Chris well, roll. Unfortunately um, he's not rolling with, uh, with hangouts it is... like we are. That bastard. I know. It's ten thirty at night, so the only person here should be my grandpa, and I hear really loud knocks, so I'm gonna be right back. Alright, don't okay. die, please. Stream break. I'll, I'll talk and entertain people. Oh shit. Alright, 
Hopefully our DM doesn't get murdered, so. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, Mitch. Let's listen for the gunshots. Yep. I mean, it I, is... I bet he hears. You want to make bets that he hears fireworks? It could it be. Is, it is Central been... Topeka, so. Uh... Hey, you're not supposed to say those things. Sorry, it is Central Insert City here. You guys Central are so what? bad at this game. He Insert... is really bad at this game. I'm sorry. You keep breaking up, but I don't know if it's my internet or your internet. Who is me? Me. Uh, Tyler. Oh, it's I hear my mic, honestly. Oh. I think I have my voice gate set too high. Oh, I don't have any of that shit set. Are you? I, uh, Mac I think you're maxing yourself. What? Tyler? Yeah, you're super hot too. Yeah. Am I super hot? I think that's the just problem. Just not audio. You're, you're too damn hot. Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot that's why you gotta. That's why you gotta have your camera off, cause. It's oof. right. Uh, I think I may have my gain fucked or. Oh yeah, I have my. Mic. <laughs> I like that. I think I have my. And then we get silence from. <laughs> it went all the way from fucked to fucked to the other direction. Yes, he did. I have my. Oh, I heard a word from him. I did. Oh. It, it sounds a lot cooler now, although also oh. quieter. Well, that sort of goes hand in hand. Yeah, you sound a good deal better now, but maybe just a little too quiet. Yeah. How's this? Uh, that's, that's kind of on the hot side again. Okay, how about this? Yeah. That's, that's a good better. medium. That's a good medium? Okay. Before you were on hot or not, now you're on the <laughs> I'm the burglar. I cut Chris's face off, and <laughs> oh god! Now I'm oh the my DM. God. You're wearing a Chris <laughs> suit. No, it was not loud knocks. It's just the neighbors celebrating the third of July. Hey, that's my second favorite. Uh, we were right. We were right. We predicted it. We're fucking psychics and shit. That's oh right. snap! Oh snap! All right, where were we? Freaking Catman just missed. Catman do. Oh, uh, Hawkeye was probably going to attempt to murder me. Ah, uh, Hawkeye. Looking for my contacts on the ground. Yeah. Yes. He is a dick. Is a goblin, so forgets that he gets disadvantage on missile attacks while you're prone. And tries to shoot you and rolls a natural one. And so instead of like firing the arrow at you, he like holds on to the string and lets go of the front of the bow and it just <laughs> snaps back and hits him in the face. So, <laughs> the only thing I do is bring misfortune to those around me. Yeah. Like a black cat. Apparently, yes, including myself. It's fortune to everyone. All right. So then it's to a the Goblin King, and he is going to attack the last person to attack him, which would be freaking Catman. Boom. Catman, do. You have oh, to pick the Catman. Jeez. There's two, two of them. There are two of us. Oh, wait a minute. Catman is one and Catman do. Okay. Which, uh. I don't I rolled two dice at once there. We'll say that was his second attack, which was a miss. Because he gets disadvantage on the second attack. That guy. But the first attack is a hit. What did he hit? W which cat man is he attacking? Um. Hobbs or Sex Star? Oh, right. Uh, Star Bear. Because Star Bear was the last one to smack him. Okay. I meant well, so. smack his shield. You were the last one to. You were the last shield. person to attack him. We done did. 
I mean, I on the, the stream, right under my name, it does say the guy who says. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, th th this checks out. Um, yeah, he he hits and he deals uh, six damage. Oh, fuck. How hurt are you? I have Man. three health left. Oh, dang. Oh, you got well, five. you better find somewhere to hide. Because I can't heal you. Everything's fine. <laughs> Six damage, and that brings it. If you fall unconscious, it. I'm proficient in medicine. I'm proficient in reverse medicine. It brings it back to Hobbs and Thalcom. Hey, what about Frank? Oh, that does bring it to Frank. My it apologies, is just sir. Very easy to skip you. Oh, goddamn! <laughs> it's like, well, we already went through like eight people. That's got to be all of them. What? All right, this dick is catching a whole lot of fuck this chick in is the close. face. Hey, that's oh be snap! Hit. That hey. is a hit. That are a hit. All right. That would be a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on just a second. He, like, brings his shield up too slow and just catches the handle of the hammer. Yeah, fuck you. And I want to do this. Nope, those are the wrong words. I know not. Huh? All right, and then... Oh, yeah. He's going to take 13 damage. Ooh, boy. Nice. He is looking a little bruddy. That motherfucker. Mm. Now we just got to make him well done. <laughs> I That's get a, it. I got it. That's yeah. a, it's a gorilla joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gorilla joke. Okay. So he takes the 13 damages, and he looks unhealthy, and now yeah. it is Goblin Hawkeye's turn. Uh, real quick, before Goblin Hawkeye's turn, I do want to make a note that Fred is slightly less disappointed in me now. Oh, and yes. It's... Yes. <laughs> you, like, look down at your watermelon-sized bun, and he, like, peeks out of the hole that you made for him and just goes... And goes back in. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Goblin Hawkeye, I tell you. He's, He's no still good. To shoot me. He's like the opposite of human Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> He's like SNL Hawkeye. Anyways, yeah. He um he yeah. He does not. Yeah. He misses. All right. I'll go ahead and roll good. a second die. I didn't roll disadvantage, and it is the exact same number. So. All right. Yeah. yeah. He just like shoots the freaking dirt right next to you, He's and that just brings as good it. Attacking as I am. Why do these guys hate the floor so much? Well, and the ceiling. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you don't know what the floor has done to them. That brings it to right. Hobbs and Thalcom. Alright. This chick is toast. Alright. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to channel my energy. I'm going to hit another uh, unarmed strike. Ooh. That's a hit. That's a hit. Finally. That's just barely a hit. Still kicks damage. He takes damage. Goblin King takes six damage. He's starting to look a little as drunk as the last goblin. Good. Good. What's Thalcom doing? Am I able to stand up and attack? You can use half your movement to stand. 
All right, I will do so because laying on the ground while has helped me not get a shot. Uh, it has not helped kill him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so at the risk of getting shot, I will stand up and attempt to attack him and probably fall on my face again. So This is probably the most comical looking uh, fight going on over here between the two of us. <laughs> Just keep missing back and forth. I Until down, now. That is a there hit. Alright. I think you're muted again, um, Chuck. I know. It's oh my god. Oh, okay. Another one on a fucking D8. Hmm. Hey, at least it's seven damage. Yeah. It is, but so far. It seven is damage seven is damage. Until now. Oh. <laughs> is it my lucky day? Yeah. You like. I just want to say I stand up and I just go, ah! Yeah, you you do exactly enough damage to kill him. Like, you hit him really hard in the top of the head, and there's, like, a little dent in his head, and he looks up at you and, like, and just falls <laughs> forward. <laughs> Good job on giving that goblin head their talcum powder. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. I'll never be sweaty again. <laughs> I'm moist, man. Moist. <laughs> All right. Wet. Even at my most Ooh. awesome, I just make people want to take a shower. Oh, most badass. Mayo. It's the Goblin King's turn. And... Is he feeling hey, special again? Chris, what? do me a favor. Pass a message to the Goblin King. Yeah. Dumb to fuck himself. <laughs> I mean, you can say that to him if you like. <laughs> I'll wait till my turn. I mean, technically, since I'm in charge of the world, every time you say something to anyone, I'm passing it along. <laughs> so... <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. He's gonna do... This time, he's gonna randomize. Randomize. No, damn it. Stay talking. No. There we go. I knew somebody was gonna say randomize. <laughs> Dessa 3, that means he attacks Hobbs. Thank God. It's not me. Or me. Oh shit. Oh boy. <laughs> the first attack is a natural 20. Oh, on who? Oh, fuck. Out of this entire fucking game now. Oh, the only person who can't take it. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's your um, HP right now? I'm, not, I'm full. But we'll okay, alright, right, that's right. So the first attack does 8 damage. All right, I've got two health. Whew, good yeah, thing we healed. Uh, attack, how many attacks does this guy get? Uh, two. I'll, uh... You know, if you die, I'm just going to leave oh, you there. Oh, shit. But I have a miracle res spell from eating mice. So the first attack was critical, so he automatically got max damage. The second attack, he just rolled max damage. Oh. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. Uh, as long as you're not dead dead, uh, I can I can medicine you back up, probably. Am I mostly dead? <laughs> um, I'm yeah, you're not, you're not dead dead. Max damage is 8. You had your full health, so you went to 2, then you went to negative 6, so you're stabilized at 0. Okay. I can so uh, you're, I can medicine you dead. to stabilize you, hopefully, and save you from having to make saving throws. Yeah, not sorry, not stabilized. You're making saving throws. Yeah. You're dying. Yes. You're, like I said, you're just mostly dead. 
if we can stop the Goblin King, then I can stabilize you. So we'll see. Otherwise, the Goblin King might wipe us. Yeah. And if the Goblin King decides to be terrible, he can hit you while you're dead. Oh, oh he man. could. That'd be a dick move right there. The, uh... And that What's forces you to fail, so... Yeah. Fortunately, his turn's over, so let's get him. His turn is over, so it is uh, Falcom. It's whose turn? I lost audio. Falcom. Yeah, I did too. Wait, what? Uh, oh, that's right. Now, is it, what about Chuck? No, it's your turn. Yeah, Falcom. what about Chuck? Or me. That I don't care about you, Tyler. No, like, the, <laughs> the initiative no, order was, was Hawkeye Goblin... Goblin King, Falcom and Hobbs. Hobbs is dead, so it's just Falcom. Oh, I, I attacked in between on Hawkeye Falcom. and the King. On Hobbs' turn, he does need to make a death saving throw. If it's going to pass through his turn. Uh, maybe I'm... Uh, hell knows. Wait a minute. Oh. I thought Hobbs and I oh, both that... went already. Or am I... Well, the four, four of the goblins are dead, so the only person left is the Goblin King. So Sorry. It could be that my tired is getting me. Uh, unannounced the stream, I've been awake for like 38, 40 hours now, so work is great. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so after the Goblin King made his attack on Hobbs, whose turn was it after that? Um, That would, that would be... Hobbs and Hobbs and Falcom were tied for initiative, but Hobbs okay. is down, so okay. it's just Falcom. I will do as the DM well, says. I will go attack. Hobbs uh, still needs to make a death saving throw. He would. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a death saving throw. Roll a 20. Better hope yeah. it's a 10 or higher. Don't goof. Uh, just 20? Yeah, just, just a flat 20. 20. Ah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> one okay, that's, that's one you're, success. You're towing the line there, though. <laughs> Every the line. you raise a little bit higher. Right. All right, I'm going to try and uh, continue with the beating uh, of uncertainty. The beating of uncertainty. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> None can withstand it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> when you say the beating of uncertainty, it's like me every time I get in the shower. Like, should I be doing this? <laughs> no. <laughs> it gets worse the more you think about it. Yes, it does. <laughs> Even Ashley's cackling in the background. You know, she's not paying attention. It's the only reason I told that joke. Oh, she heard me. Oh, yeah, she definitely heard me. <laughs> yeah, she heard me. <laughs> uh oh yeah. Um you run over and smack the goblin king's shield with your staff. I'm like, don't worry, shield, I'll take you down. <laughs> the shield surely, just shrugs. Surely um, we'll break this shield soon enough. It is a star bear's turn. Ow. I'm going to poke at this Goblin King again. Yeah. I think that hits. Nice. That hits. That's a whole one better than my roll. That hits! <laughs> Uh, eleven damages. Eleven damages. Nice. And with eleven damage, how does the Goblin King die, Tyler? Slowly and with regret. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With regret, 
uh, it's like, you know how, um, Vlad the Impaler killed his enemies? Like, impaled them off the butt on a dull spear? It's just like that. It sounds rather unpleasant. So you, like, grab him by the shoulder, like you're about to stab him in the gut, and his eyes go real wide, anticipating the motion... And then you, like, bend your knees real quick and just drop down and drive the dagger up his butt. <laughs> a rapier, but yeah. A rapier, okay. Anticipating the motion. Oh my gosh, you tickle his tonsils through the back yeah. door. <laughs> he, he, was, he was anticipating a stab in the gut, and you gave him so much more. <laughs> it was a bargain for him. No. <laughs> okay, so. Backdoor dealing Good right stuff. There. You are out of combat now, so you can run over and try to stabilize Hobbs. I will do so. I'm going to put I some... walk over to Hobbs like, no! Oh no! <laughs> Don't die! Frank actually speaking sarcastically like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that I guess is. this this is the guy that threatened to eat your rat several times. So. Yeah. Rat. He threatened Fred enough. Mouse. Sorry. That is yeah. my medicine check. Medicine check. That's it. Yeah, that's good. You stabilize him. He's at one health. Rise from the grave. Arise. Right of his prime. <laughs> okay. Rise, Hobbs. Hobbs, arise. Everything seems to be pretty solemn and quiet now. It quiet might now. be time for a nap. Um, we just took we... a short rest. I, I know. We should but... take... Uh some perception checks and search this place. Yeah. We Are there any place. other doors in this room? Um, There is, like, when you come into the room, there is a door uh, like 15-20 feet to the right. Okay. You see better than I do, Dan. Only barely. I rolled an 8. 14-14 i say 14 is good enough that um, you guys are like at the throne of the Goblin King. If you look like to the west across the big pool of water, you can see like another barrel with a couple of like treasure chests sitting next to it. Oh, oh baby. fuck. He's mine. I check out the tre uh, treasure chests. You didn't um, I think Hobbs said mine first. <laughs> I saw them first. <laughs> okay, so Falcom sees them. Hobbs is running toward them, and Frank is running behind him. <laughs> Sounds right. You want agility, Hobbs? Get there first. That's right. <laughs> oh dang! You now brought her to old damn mimics. They'll eat you up. Oh. You go over, check the treasure chest. Pew, pew, pew. And he mm -hmm. finds a healing potion. Uh, one of them has 82 gold in it, and the other one has 47. All right. And then Are you they. That down? Give me just a second. Also have, like, some scrap, like, rusty weapons in them that a goblin might think are worth keeping in a treasure chest, but are not actually useful to you. <laughs> uh, can you give me those uh, gold figures again real quick? Uh, one of the chests had 82, the other had 47, so that's 
129. Yeah. I did math even though I'm tired. Ha ha. Good oh. job, you did it. All right. I have recorded it. Make it so. It has right. been made so. Let's roll a quick d20 for the barrel. Oh, damn. 16. It's grain. Damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Only one you only found one barrel of hops. We pushed the barrel of grain into the water in disappointment. Yeah, fuck that barrel. No. Straight up Donkey Kong this shit. And you do see uh, to the north of the pool of water, there's a couple of crates as well. Let's look at What's those crates. Crate? What's crates in the box? I want to go... kick one of them open. Crate smash. Uh, one of the crates has like a sack of flour in it. And some heads of cabbage that are like starting to rot. Delicious. The other crate has some various assortments of uh, rusted or crappy armor, but also one um, red crystal. Pick that shit up. Who's taking this red crystal? I don't think I should, because one time I borrowed a friend's fancy crystal wine glass, and I fucking dropped it and broke it everywhere. Someone <laughs> else should take the crystal. I'll take the crystal. All right. Mitch, if you spoke words, I didn't hear you. Oh, I don't now you're, you. I actually heard you the first time, and now I you're muted, muted, I think. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fucking with me too. I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're gonna get an email on our fuck count for this broadcast. Uh oh. Too many expletives. I don't know. <laughs> All right. That's fucking right. Let me, let me put a put a penny in in the curse jar here. Well, we're probably going to get a warning for all the different types of alcohols Chuck has imbibed while we've been doing this. Hey, this is tea. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is actual tea. Right. There we go. There we go. This I'm is putting, not tea. Putting oh, some money in the curse jar here. This is not tea. A penny. <laughs> right. That's right. P penny <laughs> in the curse jar. I can't afford to do quarters. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why don't you just pour them in one and just take them at the same time? What did you do? Right. Keep doing this. Oh, I was only taking the shot of the whiskey just to, you know, show you that it wasn't tea. This is, I'm oh. actually drinking. Right. Stay hydrated. Right. Stay hydrated. You're staying hydrated with tea. I can't type. <laughs> we noticed. Hey, you two pennies. All right. That's right. We're gonna. Me, Richio. So you done right. found that stuff, and there's a door. I'm gonna make it rain. Going east. I'm gonna make it hail. So there's actually doors on all these doors. Yeah, there's oh, a shit. there's a door on the the hall to the east. Is it? Uh... If I might uh, sneak up on that their door while it's not looking and see how secure that door is. Did you say um, sneak up on the door while it wasn't looking? Yeah, yes. that's what I said. Okay. You never know. Okay. You never know. Jesus Christ. Okay. I, so... I can't actually sneak up on the door with that rule. Um, what's the rule? Eight? Eight? Okay, so you you. I mostly just don't want something on the other side to know. Trying to be sneaky, like this, and then you like, you just somehow some you space right door. you space what you need to do to be sneaky, and you just continue walking through the door and just smack it right open. <laughs> I wasn't trying to open it. No. Like you grab it and pull it toward you to open it, and then you think to yourself, "What am I doing?" Oh no! 
Because <laughs> you're you're tired. Damn it! From that battle. Tired in real life, the end of the game. Ah, oh, shit. Or is it the other way around? Is that I'm tired in the game and I'm tired in real life? First one and then the other. That's mm -hmm. right. Excuse me. Uh, okay. But you open the door and, like, there doesn't seem to be anyone around to notice that you can see. Like, nobody comes running down the hall to tell you to be quiet. Can I look with my special eyes and see if I can see anybody real hard? Oh, Lord. Um, Just perception. You get about halfway down the hall, you can see, like, another room. I'm looking with my special eyes. What do your elf eyes see you? Oh, good one. Finally, <laughs> yes. I get a good roll on something that's probably not helpful. Okay. So you see this room that you'll see on the stream in, uh, like, 20 seconds? Uh, there's a um, there's like one goblin in this room and he doesn't have any weapons and he's not wearing any armor he's just got like sort of a loincloth thing that's sort of neatly tucked so that it looks more like underwear and he's he's standing up a little straighter than most goblins do and you notice or like kiss. The two barrels that are on the other side of the room are very neat, just like the ones that Frank found in the other room, and he's, like, sort of dusting them off. Oh, uh, I'll let him know. And he's like actually shit. speaking common, saying, it's gotta be neat. It's gotta be neat. Oh, well. <laughs> You know what they say about me? Hey. They should get fucked. My hammer is named fucked. Did he notice that I uh, sleepily opened the door? Um, no, he doesn't really seem to notice you. He's just focusing on making sure that the barrels are neat. Well, in this exact second, I and might as just... you're, yeah, okay. as you're entering the room, he like starts to. He turns slightly and, like, walks over to the tree, just a little to the north and west of the barrels. And starts, like, sort of smacking the branches around, like, fluffing them a little bit to try and make sure they're... The tree looks real nice. Hold on a second, is this an OCD goblin? Sure sounds like it. He's doing what I said he's doing. Uh, if he's not paying <laughs> attention to me... Uh, then I'll just kind of do one of these things where I take a couple steps back and just kind of shut that door back up again, and then I'll just go back and talk to everybody. Maybe it's time okay. for us to take a nap. All right. I don't think I don't think OCD Goblin's gonna take us. I mean, if he does, we can. Common speaking OCD goblin. <laughs> this is uh, probably an opportunity to rest and possibly an opportunity to end the stream if we're needing to do that. Of course, it's yeah. 4th of July tomorrow, so who knows? I yeah. am good to keep going. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're can... the one that's been up two days. Yeah, I think that's starting to be deadly. <laughs> I, I can go for a little while if we still want to. Supposedly, permanent brain damage kicks in at 36 hours. Oh, well, then I'm already already there, then. Uh, record is like 11 days, so you're, you're good, man. Well, he won't die in 11 days. <laughs> that doesn't mean nothing negative will happen. Uh, I mean, Parnell's uh, an adult, though. It's up to you. 
Do you want to keep going, or do you want to go to bed? I can roll for a little bit. Um, hey, at this point, I probably do other things that damage my brain more than staying awake, so. All right. Plus, so... I did get a little sleep somewhere in the middle there, so just a little bit. Okay. So it's not it's not a contiguous 36 hours awake perfectly. <laughs> That's, that's fine. <laughs> Am I the only one that saw that? <laughs> saw which thing? Probably yes. <laughs> I assume Chuck did something. Yeah. He drew nope. dick butt. <laughs> uh, so he wasn't taking meaningful notes. Now there's a challenge. Oh, nice. Alright. Well, it's alright. I might uh, refill oh, my yeah. beverage. Okay. And, uh, Are you guys gonna take a long rest now in the big Goblin King cave? Uh, well, I feel like before we take any kind of rest, we need to talk to this fucking OCD goblin. Did you did you tell them about the OCD goblin? Yeah, I'll let them know, but I'm gonna there. strongly encourage them not to kill it. Yeah, I'm okay, okay. with not killing. You need to go that way, Mitch. I know I had to switch. Rekka Back up a little bit. Rekasto? I don't know that. Your camera shows the text very nice, though. Well, uh, I'm very proud of this camera. So I'm assuming no one here has ever seen Under Cherry Moon. Seen what? Under the Cherry Moon. New. No. So... If you needed a Sam Cooke album in the middle of the night, where would you go? <laughs> the Recca <Rekka> Stowe. <laughs> oh, okay. It's an old, old joke. Uh. And that would be my last contribution for this stream. All right, Frank's down. We're talking to this fucking goblet. Okay, you guys. You, want some whiskey first? you guys all going, or are you just letting Frank go? You should oh, just Frank let should Frank go. go. I got Frank it. is definitely not going by himself. Okay. All right, I go in by myself. He does not. <laughs> Greetings, you little green bastard. You seem slightly less evil than your brethren. You're just sort of like What's he's going on. He's messing Sorry. with the tree, and he like turns around. And like, sort of gets a little wide-eyed, looks a little scared. It's so like, I'm making it neat. You keep on doing that. You okay? Can I have a try my crystal? You seem different from your goblin friends. Are you? Yes. Why? They don't make things neat. Boy, they really <laughs> messed up the stuff in your other rooms while you weren't there. Were you always a goblin? What? He just, like, starts walking toward the other room. <laughs> Let's have him shine. And EC says it's gotta be neat. It's gotta be neat. <laughs> Is there anything else in this room? Any other passageways? Any treasure chests? Uh, there's like a passageway to the south. Let's go check that out. I'm not worried about the neat guy. He is not a threat right now. Yeah. Maybe if we get our own place, he can come be our maid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I will let him make things neat when I leave my dirty ass drawers all over the fucking place. Mm -hmm. I think we need one of him. He can be our friend. He can be our friend. Hey, so you go south? to us. Who's talking to us? 
Dice Genoa 89. I'm sure I said that wrong. Hey, he's checked our stream out. Hello. Yeah, he's been here before. Not in my game. Welcome to my game. Uh, but you go to the south, and you find that it is a the second room that you were in. Hey, just what? like, just like loops back. Oh. Oh, so I, we've, uh, have we cleared the whole thingy thing then? What do my people eyes tell me? Your people eyes tell you you've been here before. And now this is the whole dungeon. You've been in all the rooms. Oh, well, let's it's see like that recruiting our goblin donut. friend. It is. I love yeah. donuts. You guys talk to the fucking guy. I would like to go through uh, another pass through in this dungeon and look for any uh, secret passages or loot. Okay. You're gonna look for secret passages or loot in the like the last room that you found, with the smart goblin in, in it. All, no, in all of the rooms. If we circle back to the entrance, then I know it's safe to just to go through all of it. So I'm just gonna look through everything. Okay, I I say like even if you were to low roll low perception, like you're, it's fairly safe in here. So you can spend enough time looking around. Um. You notice, uh, as you're, like, walking through, you kind of notice that, like, it seems like he's made the whole cave neat. Okay. Like, the all the trees with light shining down on them look like they've been trimmed. Nice. And, uh, also, I want to go search the Goblin King's body. See if he had any cool shit on okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And um, I need to check to see if his oil is low. <laughs> Can I put your dipstick in? <laughs> um, you also notice, though, the uh, trees with light shining on them. The light source appears to be like red crystals that are socketed into the ceiling. Oh, we should get some of those if we can. Crack them all off. Let's go. Um, you would know that like crystals that have already been imbued generally are like held to whatever thing they're socketed into. Oh. Okay. And that uh that like actively touching them while they're imbued is painful. Yeah, well then is maybe it, I don't want to do that. Is it painful for fucked? Uh n probably not. All right, I would like those crystals to get fucked. You gotta send for it. Okay, I'd say the like the cave ceiling is probably about ten feet up, but like if you jump and swing the hammer up, you could probably hit them. Deal. What do I need to roll? Just an attack. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing going on in here, but you go ahead and hit them. And there's uh. Like, a crystal above each group of trees and each tree that's by itself, so there's, like, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pick one that Goblin Friend is in there's like, and try and knock that yeah, down. There's, like, 12 crystals, so I'll say if you want to break all of them, like, suddenly the, as a human, you notice after breaking all of them that the cave is very dark. I don't want to break all of them. I'll just break a couple. <laughs> I'll break a couple, and well, then I will put them in my uh, fanny pack. Are, are, I guess the question that I would like to ask, are you breaking them into an unusable state, or are we, like, knocking them loose where maybe they're useful still? Valid question. Am I fucking smashing these things? Or am I just dislodging them? I'm happy to roll a percentile if needed. Um, if you break like a couple of them, it's red crystals. Uh, 
there's no real easy way to say this in like in-game immersive terms. So, mm -hmm. red crystals have 10 HP, and if you do like half the crystals HP, whatever effect is imbued in it will, for lack of a better term, shut off. Ah. Okay. And so then, really, and then uh, it can be like pulled from the socket. So if you like crack them and then you can pull them out. I don't feel like Frank is smart enough for that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to take a real hard jump and a swing at the first one. Okay. Presuming that I just like fucking smash it. Right. And then I would take another like jump and a swing at the second one, trying to be more gentle. Uh, do you want me to roll some damage to see how gentle I successfully am? Okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage rolls. I'll say from smashing the first one, you can say have advantage on your damage rolls, like roll two damage rolls for the first one. See if you can have it, one of them be soft. Sorry. Uh, the second number there, subtract 2, so that's a 12. So I rolled a, I did 10 damage, and then I did 12 damage, presumably pulverizing it. Both of them, either, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to roll another so one. Actually, the first, the first one that you hit, though, uh, it just, like, cracks, and a little chip of it comes off, and then the light just, like, stops. It gets dark in that area. Okay. I guess after I hit the first one and then the light goes out, I think I would be rather disappointed. I would kind of give up on that endeavor. Okay. Let's go talk to Steve. Yeah, let's go talk to Steve. <laughs> Steve, what the fuck are you doing? This shit's clean. You did a good job. Are you looking for employment? Yeah, yeah that's all your other friends ruined your shit in here. You come back into the like the big room because that's where he went when you said that they ruined stuff, and he he has already gathered up like all the the arrows that they shot into the ceiling and the floor and like piled them off to the side next to a wall, and he's like currently in the process of like dragging one of the bodies and like shaking his head. And trying to get it, like, over by the crates. Poor Steve. I don't it... know if <laughs> there's more going on to Steve, or if he's just a uh, a um, goblin that took one too many hits on the head. Yeah. You you kind of get the feeling that there's, there's more going on. Because he, he seems... It seems less less like he took too many hits to the head, and more like he's a little smarter than the average goblin. Like yeah, he he seems kind baskets. of OCD about cleaning stuff, but he definitely understands what you're saying to him and can speak back. Okay. I, as Chuck, have some theories. I, as Frank, am thoroughly confused. Okay. Fair I enough. I would like to uh, just talk to him and see what he's doing here. I think we should throw dirt on something. Uh, I'd like to be able to bring him with us and I don't want to start by offending him. Okay, so you're going to go talk Mitch? to him? Mitch, is that you suggesting it or Hobbs suggesting it? That's Hobbs being a dick. Yeah, who, who said you're you're doing a good job? I think he's doing was a good that job. was that Frank that said you're doing a good job? We'd like to take it, you with us. It might, oh, that's oh me. yeah, I did say. Oh, I think you said it, and I reiterated it. Yeah. Uh, he said he's like. He's, you. Need clean things. Oh yes. Yeah. Do you know how much hair Hobbs and Sex Star shed on a daily basis? Too much. It's got to be at least a lot. 
It's at least several a lot. And I hate going out in town with cat hair on my stuff. I don't put cat hair on your stuff. I do. <laughs> He's like, hair's hard to clean. Here's a question I have. Not for Goblin Dude. Just like a rhetorical, like, for the universe question. On a cat dude, when did the pubes start and just the rest of the body of your fur end? Oh, I'm completely clean shaven from the waist down. <laughs> like a bitch is turning around. <laughs> that, that would be why your name's Sex Star Bear. Okay. All right, um, everything makes sense. You need to be in front of me for the rest of this quest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear pants? Mm, not all the time. Uh, I so guess the real like question a... is, do you want them in front of you to look at them, or would you want them behind you so you don't have to see them? <laughs> oh, I, I'd rather be behind them. Because I know so you know where he's at. Where he's hey, going. Uh, when I went and looked at the... When I looted the Goblin King's corpse, did I find anything on it? Um, A shield. The shield's like a... Just a regular old shield. It's like a plus, plus two to AC. Uh, and then a um, Riz... oh okay, the uh the scimitar that he had, the scimitar, the scimitar. I gotta get it right. Yeah. Just a regular old scimitar. It's a uh like a. We'll say he swung at you guys enough times. It's like like you'd know. It's a little better. It's like a plus one. I'm not interested in a one-handed weapon. Are any of you guys interested in a one-handed weapon? Um, I believe I can actually use that. Uh, As a druid, even... I believe you can. I would gladly give that to uh, talcum powder. I am actually even proficient with that. Nice. If not, we could go hawk it yeah. for money. It is a plus one scimitar. A plus one... Uh... That is our first official magic item for the campaign. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, baby. All oh, boy. Where'd my pencil go? I'm going to write it down. Oh, boy. Oh. It's very nice. Hey, uh, Hobbs, are you proficient in short bow? A scimitar is a martial melee weapon. Martial melee weapon that druids are proficient in. Martial melee method is my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, just short sword and simple weapons. Uh, I believe a short bow is a simple weapon. Maybe you should snatch up one of these short bows and the arrows. Uh, that way you have a ranged retort to yeah. any dicks from um. afar. I may do that Short as bow well. is a simple weapon. I am proficient okay. with them as well, so I may pick one up. And you guys only destroyed goblins, not their weapons, so you can, uh, if you backtrack through this cave, you can find a total of three short bows. Well, I'll take one. Dibs on one of them. And can I, I give me some arrows? I don't need oh, I do one. want to reclaim, if it's possible, my javelin that I tossed at that goblin king. Yeah, yeah you can too. you can reclaim your javelin, and he had two javelins. Oh, so I now have four javelins. How many arrow that, rows do right, we have? How many arrows do, does our buddy have? I want to snatch some extra good uh, javelins. Um, well, I'll say you guys can find a sufficient number of arrows, and for uh, ammunition in this game, like... um. Not just it. just regular bolts and arrows are not counted. If they have some sort of magical property, I'll make you keep track of them. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Somebody might get arrowed sometime soon here. So um, let's let's try and uh, if we're all done looking for the the things to look for, uh, maybe you try and finish. Yeah, he, he had Steve. two. 
Okay, that puts me at six javelins. Cool. One, there's one javelin that was just like laying on the dirt in that hallway, and one that is like kebobbed a goblin. Okay. Delicious. Snatch him. Six javelins. To you, boy, Frank. One, two, three, four, six. Not quite the same, but. Mm -hmm. Q. So, um. Let's see if we can get the uh, uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve says he'll go with you to make things tidy, but first he's got to make the cave tidy, and then okay. he continues dragging bodies very uh, inefficiently to the corner because he's our... not a very strong person. Uh, first question for the DM, and then I have a thing that I'm going to do after that. What was our mission in the cave? Just to clear the gobby gobs, I believe. So our job uh, was yeah. to kill the goblin. Okay. The cool. town. Mission accomplished. The town just down the road to the south of Glenfall City was complaining that the goblins were coming from the cave. The goblins were far too gobliny. And like okay. stealing their stuff. Like, they, they went to a couple of the outlying farms and stole grain, hops, and flour, and cabbages. Oh, we okay. the cabbages again. Or so you assume, because that's what we you found in the cave. Okay. Uh, statement to the party. After we finish here in the cave, uh, we should head to that town and let them know that we cleared out the goblins, because maybe they'll put us up for night and give us some free food. And I, I am about that things. free fucking food. The second thing I would like to say is I would like to help uh, in assistance of uh, Mr. Bushimi in moving all of these goblin corpses to wherever the fuck he's moving them. Wait, what? Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I, right. I got it, yeah. <laughs> but he, we're uh, not going to tip him. Alright. Uh, we can't say that full name all at once when we refer to him, though. <laughs> it's copyrighted. Yeah, we'll get a fan for it. Oh, uh, what is the goblin's crown made out of? Is it just, like, fucking twigs and shit? Um, he... It looks that... It's like twigs that are like intertwined and woven around in a circle but then he also put like he like shoved gold coins into in like in between the twigs oh. to make oh, like the a... points of the crown oh what a fancy boy i'm taking that crown and putting it on my head okay and i am you... dubbing myself the new goblin king and now he finds out my... the hidden spell <laughs> now my new mission is to find a cod piece. You now have 20 gold worth of crown on your head. <laughs> and and some twigs. <laughs> I'm keeping that crown on my head, and my new goal is to look for a cod piece. Okay. I will say, like, a couple of the gold pieces fell out of the crown when he died. Pop snatched him. Because it doesn't seem like they're, like, glued in or fastened in in any way. They're just, like, shoved in between the twigs. That guy. Okay, that, yeah. Top stolen. Unbeknownst to Frank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick them, uh, them gold coins back in there and put that fucker on my head. Okay. And it's... And I'm back to helping Steve. Yeah. Alright. So you have 18 gold worth of crown on your head. <laughs> um, yeah. You and Steve together managed to move all the bodies into the corner by the crate. 
and cool. Steve actually asks you if you wouldn't mind putting the smaller goblins in the crates. <laughs> oh, what a help out. I got his back. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to save these for later. And I then... gotta, I'm going to help Steve out because I fucking hate washing dishes. That's right. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I've got it. And then this one, and he like, surprisingly, like he manages to get the Goblin King above him, but then he's didn't realize how heavy it would be, and it's like starting to push him back down. <laughs> I presume I could just like easily like walk up and scoop up the Goblin King's corpse with one hand. Yeah, he's trying to like, just, like alley that fucker into the pile. Yeah, like you've you've managed to get like the lids to the crates back onto them after getting the small goblins in there, and he wants to put the big one on top of them. Okay. Yeah. And then you get him up there, and he turns and like looks up at you, and he's like. Thank you. You got it, Steve. You're my boy now. You're my That's boy, right. Steve. Okay. You're going to follow <laughs> us. And we're going to take you to our home. And you're going to wash my dishes. <coughs> Not just yours. Are, are, are the dishes. people at the... your home as nice as you? I, you cut Most, off that last word, Chris. Yeah. Uh, I, I assume he's asking for nice as, as you are in, in the answer. Yeah, he, he said, are the people at your home as nice as you? Because uh, you know, most people treat me like a goblin. Here's the thing. <laughs> if they're not as nice as I am, I have a very large hammer to convince them that they he's should persuasive. be as nice as I am. I am very persuasive in a very get fucked kind of way. Okay. So I got your back, Steve. I got your back. Just, you know, don't question me if you come across the sock that's a little crunchy. <laughs> Socks aren't supposed to be crunchy. Don't question me, Steve. <laughs> I pull Steve aside and tell him to hook me up with the mouse. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit. <laughs> mouse? The mouse is very dirty. You leave my mouse not alone. Neat. It is not neat. What? Fred is not, not neat. He's a clean freak. Who's Fred? He is. The okay. Fred. Fred. This Fred. Fred. You know what a pet is? It's what you are to us now. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the orcs called Your me. Your master has a very okay. crazy pet. The orcs were dicks, and they called you a pet, and that was rude. I have a pet mouse named Fred. I treat Fred very nicely. I give him a wonderful home to live in, and I feed him anything he wants to eat. And all I ask in return is that he doesn't judge me for the crusty socks. Steve. Fred is filthy. Are we on board there, Steve? Filthy. Does Fred need a bath? Maybe later you can yes. give Fred a bath. Yes, cats give <laughs> awesome baths. <laughs> Don't. Here's the thing. Hobbs and Sex Star Bear want to eat Fred. I know cats eat mice. I and you want don't to want them us. to eat my mouse. But Frank helped me put the goblins away. Frank yeah, is fine. I We're got talking about Fred. Frank <laughs> is... Fred is Frank's friend. Steve is Frank's friend. Steve and Fred should be friends as well as they are Frank's friends. But you Steve, up. Frank is filthy. Be right back and run outside. You run outside there, Tyler. You run. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> he just left, so it's okay. I think okay. I will let you two discuss Fred. I All think right. that we should get like a, a big old cloak or something like that and cover Steve up with it so it's indiscernible what he is. That's a good idea. We need to kind of disguise Steve so we can go to this town and get some fucking breakfast without having to pay for it. 
Well, if they find a mice a mouse there, then we might get it for free. Fred's not leaving. My red home for him. Human, you must sleep at some time. I got your back. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me there. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's head to. So the town. you guys taking a rest? We should get uh, ourselves a long rest before we travel and have ourselves some encounters. Like if you if you How head back, the um, the town I've got it back on the world map again, and the uh, like the black mound thing here to the south of Glenfall City is the town. And I named all the cities and figured I would let you guys name the towns. Uh, is that a couple that? hours walk? Or... Let's not forget um, Hobbs is at one HP. Right. You're the the you know. the cave is in this hex here, ten seconds from now. And it's uh, three miles per hour. Each hex is like ten miles about. So probably take you about. We say like twelve ish hours. Okay, yeah, we should definitely camp out here. That's Either long far. rest or short rest. Uh, How many short rests can we take per day? I think it's only one. Oh, it's the only one. I don't know for sure. But I don't see um, why we couldn't take a long rest. We've cleared out this. Yeah. I mean. If your short rest was only an hour, I th I think you can you can take a long rest, especially since you guys like were pretty pretty thoroughly thrashed. Like Thalcom's the only person I think that didn't get hit during that fight. Yeah, I think we oh, should only because uh, of misfortune I bring with me. And, take a long rest here. Yeah. Okay. And Hobbs and Hobbs and Starbear both look pretty wobbly. Yeah, let's let's take make with the rest in. I'll take uh, first watch. Yeah, and the the campfire uh, that you guys made before you went in is still there. It's just not currently lit, so you could probably just like get oh, some twigs. I'm gonna create a bonfire on it, and I can trance, so I'm an elf. Okay, I was gonna say maybe we should take a long rest in the cave. That'd be okay, too. I can make a fire anywhere. Let's I have set up fire. Okay. It's up to you. In the first room, and let's take our long rest in there. Now that the goblins are dead, uh, we should have a little while before anything else tries to move in here. So, you could set up in that first room near the fireplace. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Create your bonfire in the fireplace. I'm going to create a bonfire in the fireplace and also in the doorway to keep anything from coming in. It's a good thought right there. What does Steve think about that? Uh, What, staying next to the fireplace? No, putting a fire uh, in the doorway. And back. Oh, putting a fire in the doorway. In the corridor. Yeah. Is that Put neat? Yeah. Um, he says he doesn't mind as long as we clean it up before we leave the cave. Light a fire under the ash. All right. I should do that. Create a couple fires, long rest here for the night. In the morning, we'll head to that town, let them know we cleared out the goblins, maybe get some free food, and then we'll head back to the big town before heading to the place to reclaim whatever the fucking the other job was. Yeah. Going up to the north. Yeah. So, yeah, we long rest for the night, I think. Yep. Right, guys? Yes. Yep. Sounds okay, like okay. Long rest. Just so you guys are just all healed up. Yeah. All right. Do we need to roll for any encounters, or are we calling it a safe cave for now? Uh, Just say the cave's safe, yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. 
what are we at? We're at eleven forty three. I think this is a good. Uh, is this? Do we want to keep playing, or do we want to call this a good resting or a good stopping point? I would say stopping point. It's a, yeah, it's a pretty good stopping point, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Despite point. all my stubbornness, I am starting to wear down a little bit here. He thought he was okay. an elf in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I'm not. I'll just go Thanks, into a trance while we play. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in a trance the whole time. Oh. oh. Yes. Oh, so next session when we play on this coming Wednesday, we'll pick up after the or during the start of our long rest or end of our own long rest. Yep. We should right. probably ask this guy what his name is, but we just keep calling him Steve. So he, he's responding he to Steve. He doesn't see seem to be arguing that. with you. Um, yeah, I think you're Steve is good. you're not sure that that's his real name. He's just hasn't corrected you. Yeah, Steve is good. All right. That's uh, his name now. That's his name now. What words do we need to say before we end the stream, Chris? Um, what words do we need to say? Uh, go to sleep, you crazy kids. <laughs> uh, push the buttons, do the things. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what else? Catch our other game streams. Uh, ah, yeah. Night. This Friday uh, this we'll have Friday. that. Yeah, we'll have yeah, this, Chuck's game. That's my game. Come check out the adventures of uh, uh, Cantor Incorporated on the continent of Calor as they delve deeper into the Caniculum. Uh, so you, you guys need to think of a name for your group. With reckless abandon. Uh, we are named <laughs> Reckless Abandon. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> the reckless abandoned. Works for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. All it right. sounds cool. Uh, what else? I don't know if we're doing a net hack stream this week. Possibly we'll Thursday. Have, maybe Thursday. Uh, but we will have YouTube episodes up every day this week, except for Friday. Enjoy. Anything else, Chris? Enjoy. Um, this this game should be up on Saturday, and back on yep. Wednesday next week. And the the final episode of last Calor session will be up tomorrow. Yes, that will be episode eight. Yep. Cool. Gotta make it uh, hail. Is everyone good Ooh, for eight thirty next Wednesday? Yeah, I'm down. That's the point. Uh, I will be so. here. That should be fine for me. <laughs> cool. All right. There Click we the go. Look at that. <laughs> While I make it hail. Make Thanks it watching, hail, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. We'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.